There. Do you see it? The face made out of fruit? This is the work of a 14th century Italian artist named Giuseppe Archimbaldo. He is best known for imaginative portraits made from objects like fruit, vegetables, fish, flowers, and books. Today, we are going to create our own portraits inspired by his paintings. To start, you definitely need a pencil. I also have markers and crayons for when we color in. Beginning with my pencil, I'm gonna very lightly sketch out the shape of my face. So starting with the cheek and jawbone, then going up around for the top of the head. I filled most of my space. It's very, very light. Now I'm just gonna put in where my neck and any shoulders or body goes. This is your opportunity to really decide if you wanna be really zoomed in on the face or if you wanna have more room for the body. Now, beginning with the eyes in the middle of your face, you're gonna begin sketching in the fruits and vegetables that you want for your eyes. I'm using kiwi, but there's so many options. You know, nobody's project should look exactly the same. You could use olives, blueberries, sliced lemon or orange, cucumbers, it's really up to you. For the nose, I'm doing a sliced avocado, but you could do a carrot, radish, green onions. For the mouth, you could do watermelon, a banana, pickles, a row of beans, or sweet peas. Next up is the eyebrows. You could do pickles, a row of peas or chilies, a slice of fruit or citrus. I'm doing lemon. Right, so I'm going quickly because I want you to see the process of how I add detail, but I really don't want you to be doing the same fruits and veggies as me. You should be creating your very own. Next up, I'm doing ears, which are starting at the top right where my eyes are, you can see, so they kind of line up with my eyes. I'm doing half of a piece of a pear, but you could do garlic, mushrooms, a slice of bell pepper, Next up are cheeks. I'm doing chilies. You could do strawberries, apricots, peach or an apple, right? So I'm trying to fill it in my space. You can maybe overlap, right? So like my kiwi is on top of my lemon. My chilies are kind of next to each other. They're overlapping a little bit. Any space that you don't fill in, you can either fill in later with another fruit at the end or you can just leave it and color it. It's up to you, but try to really fill your face. Speaking of filling my face, I'm gonna go even farther and I'm gonna emphasize my chin area by adding some strawberries. It just depends on the way your face is working, right? So I saw an empty space, I wanted to fill it. So you may have more space on the top of your head, you may have more space for your cheeks. It just depends how your fruit is all fitting together. So. Just keep working on filling it in. Again, I'm going fast, but in reality, this took me a lot longer than just this video, the six minutes it's taking in this video. So feel free to pause and really work on it. I forgot to mention the neck. I'm doing an eggplant, but you could do a bunch of asparagus or corn. Then for the top of my head, I'm gonna do a big head of cauliflower. Uh, I really like cauliflower, so that's what I'm going with. You could do broccoli, you could do a big pineapple, like the crown of a pineapple. You could do a bunch of grapes that are all going around for longer hair, or lettuce and spinach. It just depends, really, on what kind of space you have and what you want your face, your portrait, to look like. So really, like I said, and I keep saying it, take your time and really be creative and come up with lots of fun ideas. So I'm adding some spinach leaves and then I'll add some pea shoots and some uh, cherries for my earrings as well.
Oh, one more thing. So I realized I had a lot of space in my face and I decided to divide it up and actually make the whole bottom half of my face a watermelon slice. And then I'll have the space in the middle, which I'm not gonna do right now. I'll do it when I use the black marker to outline. Um, I'll turn that middle space into a bunch of blueberries. So that's what I mean about filling in your space. Just finding ways to add more and more fruit so that we really use everything. There's no just blank space. Although if you have blank space, that's okay too if it's really purposeful. Okay, I have a rough idea of my face, my portrait. Now I'm going to start outlining. I started with this black Sharpie but I realized I needed something more fine tipped for all of the details that I added. I'm gonna add more details here with my black marker. So eventually I'll switch over to a really fine tipped black marker. You could use a black pen or just something you have um, to give you the detail, the level of detail that you want. See, so Pause here, right, to work on it. But you can see I'm adding in those circles for my blueberries. And then I'm adding a little X so that I know that they're blueberries. So you can see the level of detail when I started working with my outline pen got much more detailed. When you're ready, be sure to erase all of your pencil marks. That will give you a real clean slate for beginning to color. So there you can see mine, okay? Pause here until you have your portrait that looks like this. From here, you guys, it is all about coloring it in. And I did this in two sessions because it did take me a long time, so take your time, right? And I'm gonna start coloring. I'm using markers and crayons. If you have colored pencils, you can use those. Those colors will layer really nicely. Um, just adding layers of color. And what I didn't realize, and I was kind of silly and I realized quickly right here, is that my strawberries, my watermelon, and my mouth, so that whole bottom area is really like reds and pinks. So I had to go back and kind of change the value of my colors so that some were lighter, some were darker. I really wanted them to stand out and not just be one like solid red color, right? So I kind of overlapped my colors. I made one, I made my strawberries more like magenta. I made my watermelon more pink and I colored it lighter. And then for my cheeks, my cherries, which are also red, I did those really, really dark with just the marker. And that's how you can get different values of your color. Okay, now I'm going back in for my blueberries. I'm gonna use my marker and then my crayon. And I'm just gonna keep on going. I left this entire part of the video even though I'm going fast, because I really wanted you to see. It's fun to see, it's fun to see all the colors come together but that doesn't mean you should not start working on yours as well. So you can watch along with me as you get started on your own for ideas, for color inspiration. I cannot wait to see how your guys' portraits turn out.
When you are done, you should have an amazingly creative and original fruit face inspired by artist Giuseppe Archimbaldo.